Hello, this is Fast Lawyer, and I am reviewing Creed Rise to Glory by Servios. And they've made several good VR games, so this is one of the top developers for VR. Uh, this game is currently, well, it's normally priced at $30, and I believe it's on sale currently for like $22. I actually bought this from a third party website, uh, Humble, for like $18 on sale. So that was a pretty good deal. Uh, I do recommend this game, but, but on sale, I definitely don't buy it at full price. Even though this is a good solid boxing VR title, the campaign is about one hour long. And, and that's a lot of my criticism was with the game there's not a whole lot of content there they have added some DLC fighters for free so that's great so it's great for free play or P or multiplayer o online multiplayer is where this game really shines that's the best gameplay in this game I'm not gonna do that right now though because it can be laggy and I'm already using the, the video software the video recording software so I don't want to make it worse but I'm going to do a fight so you can check out this game. Um, it's one of the better boxing games. I won't say it's the best. I think Thrill of the Fight might still be the, the king of the hill when it comes to boxing and VR games. But uh, this, case, this, game, this game is pretty close. The, my problem with this game is, is just the price point and the lack of content, really. Some people may not like the stamina system. With the stamina system, you know, you, you can only do a few punches and then you'll get tired and you have to block I don't like the way it was implemented in this game I think it has been done a lot smarter but it's not bad it, it makes it more strategic so let's just, just go, go ahead and fight I, I don't want to spend too much I don't want to as you can see you can do training exercises there's Sylvester Stallone over there Rocky Balboa it's not the original actor uh, but actually Adonis Creed is uh, Michael B. Jordan is the voice actor in, in this game, amazingly. So, uh, choose your fighter. Who, let's choose Mr. T, because I love Mr. T, James Lang Clever. Firm. And who do we want to fight? <sighs> Let, let's go easy, because that I, I, I kind of need a warm up. So, let's go against Luke O'Grady's Crafts, which is the weakest fighter. And. <laughs> Let's fight in Mexico City. Why not? <laughs> so this should be an easy fight. Um, there's actually an achievement where you can put your hand behind your back to fight. And really, I just want to show off the game. Uh, unfortunately, I can only play this game for like 10 or 20 minutes at a time because I do get tired. I am out of shape. So. The main event is about to begin. As you can see, this is full body. I wish there was a mirror so you can see yourself if there isn't. O'Grady! I have the arm swing motion enabled. So you do have to swing your arm swing and press the A or X button. So I do have to do this little motion here to get forward. That's an option. That's optional though. Let's get ready to fight! Uh, I wish moving around were better. That way you could be more strategic. You can you know, punch and jab and get out. You can do that sort of. Gloves. I'm gonna fight dirty, just so you know. Man, get out of here, man. So, you definitely want to do that. So you definitely block. And I knocked them out. Three, four. Oh, a hard hit from so you don't have to go. You can go for one, one, two, and then block. Oh crap. So that's the problem is going on to 3 4. So you put it off 3 and 1 2 if you want to be safe. And you see a body shot. 
I found him guarding up high. I'm gonna get up on him real quick though. Oh crap. We don't wanna go into the second round, but that's okay. You want me really conservative, you just go for one thing. What a shot! Flubber really showing off his power with that blow. Could be over, folks. Flubber has Two, put his opponent three, on the floor with a four, devastating strike. Five, six. Oh, that's true. You can't hurt me. What a hit! Flubber is a complete power. He's not going to do anything over his opponent. Covering an absolutely devastating blow to his opponent. This is the fact that they're actually gone longer than I thought it would. <laughs> I've knocked him down in the first the round. Okay. Three knockouts in the first round. So you can see the crowd looks good and he's over there all day. Anyway. And you see, feel like the man needs just by the full labor, which is kind of dumb. It's okay. Not bad, not bad. So let's go for something a little bit more challenging. So you could really get a, a good sense of the game. Uh, as you can see though, I'm already, my, my breast is already, I'm already starting to get a little bit winded. So let's fight Ivan Drago. So let's be Rocky, confirm. And let's fight Ivan Drago. All right, let's, let's go. Uh, Go for Philadelphia. Back alley. <laughs> All right. I like that. Back alley. The fight that you never saw. Oh. Did you see that? The <laughs> I've never seen that glitch before. It apparently happens in this arena. The, the back. Woo. So he's probably going to knock me out here. Whoa. 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 Dude, come down, man. Sit up. So you want to put your gloves in that position. So you really... oh, he, this guy is super... I've never played against Ivan, fought against Ivan Drago. This guy's tough. There's no ref or anything if I can cheat. <laughs> Sucker. Oh crap. So he knocked me out, so now you gotta swing your arms and get back to us. Oh, <laughs> alright, yeah. Come on. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, come on, no, come on. Ah, ah. So you can see this guy tires you out a lot more because he does punch a lot. He seems to never get tired. Oh crap, come on, man. So we have to deal with this flurry now. And I knocked him out. Woo, knocked him down. Not out. So 
But counterintuitively, you dodge where he punches. But now I have to run faster. So get a good workout so your arms are fast. Uh, all right, come on, let's go. Let's go, Greg. Oh, come on. Let's go knock him out. As you can tell by my my character is tired and I'm tired as well. Come on, let's go. So now I really have to run really fast. And I want to get this because I think I might knock him out next time. I'm really fast now. Oh god, I may not make it. I may not make it. Yeah. I thought I didn't make it. I didn't make it. So let's return to the gym. Uh, that's been my review for Creed Ride to Glory. Like I said, it's a good game. Fun for what it is, but it definitely could have been done better. As you can tell by the stamina system, it seems kind of unfair. You saw Ivan Drago just had unlimited stamina. Meanwhile, I can only do a few punches at a time and have to block several punches. Uh, but it does, I guess, keep the game more interesting, more challenging. And in PvP, it seems to be a nice, nice way to deal with, with just people just wailing too much. So, for online multiplayer, I think that system actually works. And it's good, but for the actual game, although it does bring more challenge, I think it would just been done some harder. Not saying you can't get tired, but there should have been like an overall big stamina meter where you can check. You can punch yourself out, and you know, you throw a bunch of punches, you get tired quick, because you have a harder time blogging, harder time moving, stuff like that. But that's not how it's implemented here. Anyways, that's been my review. Uh, like I said, buy on sale. Uh, Given the price tag, I think it's a little bit too much, even though there's obviously high production values using Michael B. Jordan uh, character models, as you can see Rocky over there. Uh, just buy on sale. Uh, not the best boxy game, it's still pretty good. Uh, probably give it a 7.5 out of 10. Um, and I definitely do recommend buying it on, on sale. Thank you for, for watching my, my gameplay. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my uh, VR reviews. Thank you very much. Thank you for, for watching.